Hello everybody, this is Adam from Cformatics.com and uh, I would like to give you a tutorial today, show you actually a tutorial, how to do a particle dissolve without any plugins or any espresso setup. And I, you know, I got inspired by Krakatoa and some different uh, plugins I've been trying to work with, but um, they, they're, very, they're very similar and they're very good effect, but uh, I know many people, you know, cannot afford it and many people, you know, want to do some particle dissolving and I try to I give you that with the basic tools of Cinema 4D because they're very powerful it's just uh, you need sometimes a good computer but uh, just take a look what we try and go trying to go achieve today like you see this is the solving uh, of letter today but it's it's very similar to part to like uh, to different plugins but here is I use no plugin I just use basic uh, tools and we're gonna try to achieve this effect and I hope you are gonna like it I hope you're gonna uh, just share this knowledge just say, say to people what I do let them subscribe to me and uh, just ask comment this is what what we need we people who do tutorials we need that to feedback okay so don't be afraid just write whatever you want good or bad stuff I take everything so we in the we in the cinema 40 here R12 I have it so I'm gonna use the MoGraph uh, text and you can use of course any different object and I'm gonna just uh, go maybe for letter B you can choose of course whatever letter and I'm gonna change uh, font to Gotham I'm gonna push O on the keyboard and uh, I'm gonna now prepare this text to, to for the animation so I'm gonna subdivide him let's say 3 and I'm gonna give uh, in the media points also subdivide I'm gonna go fill up the cap with 2 I'm trying to keep this uh, everything kind of equal and kind of the same size so we can get a better a result if I have to say like that and I'm gonna just put this type quadrangles for five so you see they're all like a uh, kind of polygons they kind of kind of the same size and this is what, what what I need so far so now we have to make this editable we can push C on the keyboard on this button here and then right click select children you can go again this button or C right click select children and then right click connect delete and uh, I'm gonna push NV on the keyboard so we can uh, see what's going on more and our object is prepare for animation so first we're gonna focus on the animation and then we're gonna focus on the um, on the getting the small pieces like uh, the particle effects okay and here in the MoGraph we got something called poly effects and I see many tutorials, you know, about poly effects. Uh, they got like millions of views. For example, like Acris HD and some other people, which is the explaining very, very basic of poly effects. And I'm surprised how they can get so much views. But this is what it is, you know. Sometimes you know it's uh, putting the right tags or whatever. But I use this poly effects a little bit different to achieve uh, this effects what I do. So first, when you put the poly effects to to mode text you're gonna get um, transform tab here as a one like uh, and that that's that's default and that's nothing happened so first of all you have to change this to zero and then of course nothing happened without any fall off and we got fall off here and let's change fall off first of all to linear and uh, different uh, from from top to bottom so first what we're gonna do I'm gonna try to do a random fall off which is a random fall off shape actually because uh, many times I tried to achieve this, but I couldn't because because some of my, you know, like uh, work was before like, damn, I, how I can do this fall off and and because right now when, when you when you try to animate, it's going to go like very easy from up and down. If you rotate, it's going to go like very, very, very similar and very like uh, boring, you have to say like that. So this is this is the way you see it's going from from top to bottom. We can we can change here the fall off function first, like uh, inverse and um, inverse square and cubic whatever and then uh, you can you can get the follow bigger or small but still you're gonna get this 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 going up and down in the nice uh, in the not nice actually right direction so first what we're gonna do we're gonna change the shape follow to source and here you can use the particles thinking particles or you can use uh, spline and in our case I'm gonna use this as a spline okay I'm gonna use the B spline and just 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 write like a uh, paint something which is uh, very like random up and down this is this is something you choosing okay so this is this is my uh, my spline we're going back to the front view and uh, and to poly effects you have to drag this to the source link 
And when you drag this, look what's happened. Already this this spline affecting our fall off. Like you see, instead of going like linear, we got the fall off of the spline. Like you see, it's going in here. And when I just travel with this, I can also just animate this and get a nice funny effect. But I'm gonna just try to keep it somewhere, which is uh, gonna open like the the whole thing for the for my fall off. And I think somewhere here, it's it's pretty cool. So. Second thing you have to keep in mind when you put the spline in the front is gonna kind of affect like you see like in front So keep this in the middle if you don't want this get you know from the back Like FX if you really want so you see the back it's dissolving But I try to keep this in the middle so that's gonna kind of go from the from the whole From the whole object like you see this is this is this is the way it's gonna it's gonna go And you can just you know like uh, get like for example here you put something you really like and then the shape is gonna come no matter what and in pod effects here when you when you got the the, the fall off tab you got sample distance and sample details first i'm gonna explain what is details details if you're gonna put more details here that's gonna go very close to the spline and try to achieve uh, the effect of the of the spline so if i'm gonna go down you see this is very very like when the spline is coming this is going very close I'm, I'm keeping this on one you see like uh, it's different this is like uh, more random this is more clear to the spline so I'm oh, sorry this is this is a fall off so this is uh, this is something you see this is like the effects here you're going more like a uh, random but if you go like this something like this then you're gonna get around five I think that's uh, that's a pretty okay if you got more it's gonna give be more detailed but that's okay also so it just you choosing whatever you want follow this is just uh, is how far it's going so this is also you can uh, I think around 60% works fine for me and to get this all animation like working we're not gonna animate the spline but we're gonna just um, animate the sample distance so this is how you get the all of your stuff going so we see first let's animate the, the sample distance so now we see we're gonna see how this affect the spline so uh, Add the keyframe on the first frame and go to the frame the animation wanna be finished and get the most spline like a most uh, samples and push right animation and then got the keyframe. So now we can look how this FX goes. You see it's going very fast, boom, like a boom, and it's not going that uh, that slow. So we can uh, just put the spline a lower and just the change the different shape, and now you see it's going a little bit better. You see, it's going with the shape, and of course you can uh, you can just put the spline in the position you want. So now you see this is this is the effect is gonna go. And you see the first problem sometimes is here that uh, this in poly effects the sample distance is not enough. So then you can basically make another keyframes or just change the fall off, and that's uh, that's gonna help to disappear very much. Of, of your of your animation but here I will uh, I will put the a little bit spline in different position so a little bit more up so that's also eliminate my uh, my different effects fall off could be nice here to ha have it like you see it's going with the delay if you still got problem just put the spline more up and that should dissolve and uh, and fix the problem I think this is this is pretty nice already. You see, it's going like uh, like delta here. This is this is this is for example what I want. Okay, cool. So now we we got we got all this. So we we need the more random movement. And in poly effects, it's a transform tab. It's is sorry, it's a tab called effectors. And uh, and I'm gonna go for a random effector only because this effector got here. You know the random mode, noise and turbulence. So I'm gonna go for turbulence. And I'm gonna put the scale on one. And if you don't know how the scale works, it works like if it's lower value, it's affecting individual polygons. If it's bigger value, for example, 300, it's gonna affect the whole row of polygons. Look, this is you see the whole polygon is going like this. And if I go one, it's going more random movement, like you see, very 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 nice. And I'm gonna just put the animation speed for 30. Let's say and see how this looks. That looks pretty nice. I can also uh, just get uh, a little bit of uh, rotation, just to get more randomized stuff. You can get also like scale, uniform scale. If we go to one, 
then it's gonna go like minus one whatever you're just choosing what you want here okay so you see this is uh, the the scale is gonna work like that so you can you can choose the way you want it but uh, the particles is going you know like uh, from big to small I'm just turning off the, the, the scale for now we can get a little bit also uh, movement around like more outside yes so this this so this is uh, this is our animation this is this is how it is dissolving and the good thing is like you can also the, put the spline all the time somewhere and get the different results you know this is this is how how nice it is if it's going like this you see this is going from from middle so you basically you you choosing where this coming from and this plan is a little bit more to the back so it's affecting us uh, a little bit different but you see this is always you can get control and this is what actually I really 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 like so the last thing I think here the Delta was pretty pretty actually impressive uh, so the last thing what we have to do here it's uh, we have to subdivide all this stuff for the smaller pieces and um, here you need a very 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 good computer I think because I got laptop and the cool effects it starts around 8 million of polygons so it's kind of like the same with particles but um, but let's let's try to fix it okay so first we do, if we go here you see I got uh, this uh, if I if I select my uh, polygon and go to polygon uh, tool here I see how many polygons I have so if you don't got this information here go to edit configure total polygons and check this so now you know how many polygons you have and we got 2921 I'm gonna push the control a so that select all my polygons and I'm gonna go for, for function and subdivide and first thing I'm gonna subdivide once and uh, for example if I'm gonna just uh, keep somewhere like in the middle so I can uh, I can see uh, how this stuff looks so this this is let's let's put this to the render to picture viewer and we're gonna get uh, oh this is this is uh, this is something I was working on before uh, yes this is we need we don't need you just delete this one because I want to show you like uh, how this looks with the each uh, uh, particle uh, amount so the first one it's 11,000 particles okay this is this is how it works so next one I'm gonna go for again here Control A and uh, strict function. I'm gonna subdivide. So this is uh, forty-five thousand. Okay, render to picture viewer. And already you got you look you got big different right. So this is uh, eleven thousand. This is forty-five. Eleven forty-five. Now I'm gonna go again for for subdivide, and I think it's, that's gonna take a little bit of time because uh, it's calculating and I got laptop here so but that was pretty okay so let's go and render this to picture viewer again and it's gonna take some time because you need the calculation but you see look 11,000 180 okay 180 and then let's try to get uh, get one more time maybe subdivide and I say around 2 million 4 million and 8 million that's that's gonna come something really nice as you see now it's taking time because it's um, it's calculating that's why I say you need the better computer here but you got seven hundred forty seven thousand let's uh, render to picture view and that's also gonna take some uh, time but uh, you can see this is very low eleven thousand forty five I think four hundred and then seven hundred you see different boom 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 from zero here boom 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 so imagine like uh, let's try to f subdivide one more time and, and just um, so you can see actually what 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 number you're going for but I think uh, the last the, the the animation I use it here it's around 8 million okay and you see it's also go going like a, a nice kind of like a, like a wind here but this is it's, it's nothing there are no no effectors okay still calculating so uh, I hope it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be finished very soon so remember just uh, to work with this uh, here with the with the poly effects that's that's what actually everything is happening so let's see if it's done oh it's not showing anything right now too bad but let's uh, let's try to render to picture and I'm, I'm pretty sure we got we're gonna get a long longer time but uh, we're gonna get a different effects and I don't know 
what the amount of polygons here is but that should uh, pop out any minute I hope but uh, you got just uh, the basic idea here how they have to be subdivided you see this is uh, 750,000 so more you subdivide it's gonna be uh, better quality basically let's wait for the last one I know it's, uh, it's taking time and I know you just wanna go and jump in and try the stuff you're gonna you're gonna go any second trust me so but remember you need a good computer for this and I say my laptop takes a little bit time and also the render it's gonna take um, around one minute two minute for the for the frame so I don't know if uh, if you're ready for this and this I didn't find any way to get it uh, slower but you can see the difference here look I don't know how many polygons is that but that's that's totally different and I think it's around one million over there uh, yes so um, this is the tutorial this is uh, this is something I've been I've been I've been achieving and um, this is how we can get this dissolving so it's uh, it's very easy to do just just look at the setup oh here you go we got uh, two million nine hundred ninety one thousand so the last effect yeah so we got three million I said around eight million looks pretty pretty nice here already you got something like really good dissolving so because each dissolve like uh, each effect you're gonna be like okay I'll, I'm gonna subdivide one more time one more time one more time one more time so it's just up to how good this computer computer it is and then it's uh, how you know like uh, the the random effect or is affecting this so basically this is not nothing difficult and everybody can achieve this without any plugin so if you like this video just comment or just put somewhere so more people can see and more people can come because I'm I'm gonna do more tutorials and you can see already some of more tutorials on my on my website and uh, I hope you like this one and I hope uh, you're gonna achieve some effects uh, this is the way how I find out how to you know like uh, get this stuff and now you know as well so good luck with it if you got some job or question you know like um, uh, if you've done something with it just just give me give me the heads up you know and show me what you've been doing because of course you many you can get different ideas and if you know if the spline is not only source but the particles but because you can use the the here in the in the fall of tap you can a source and you can use the particles for this also you can get different effects just let me know okay this is uh, Adam from cformatic.com and this is it for today I hope to see you in the next tutorial peace